Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the thallus organization or thallus structure of algae. So depending on their different or de depending on their thallus structure, algae are differentiated into some categories. Okay, so we will discuss about the thallus structure or thallus body structure of algae. But uh, before starting, we have to know something about algae in short. So algae has no official uh, official existence in a particular kingdom of classification system in classification system like five kingdom classification system here we can see that the algae have no particular kingdom where all the algae are present but the all the algae are uh, present in different kingdoms like in monera kingdom the cyanobacteria that are the blue green algae are present in protista the microalgae that are the phytoplanktonic forms are present and in planty kingdom all the macroalgae are present okay so here we can see that the algae doesn't have any particular kingdom in classification and the next is so therefore algae is only a collective term to represent a chlorophyll bearing organisms and who Possess the thalloid vegetative body and shows no differentiated tissue system. So we call a organism algae when that when that organism have a chlorophyll bearing chlorophyll and they possess thalloid structure and they have to show have to show no differentiated tissue system. Then we can say that this organism is algae. Okay. So now let's come to our thallus organization or thallus structure so thallus or thalloid vegetative body or thallus structure means the body which does not form root stem and leaves that means uh, we can see in plants they have three different parts in their body that are the root stem and leaves but in algae they don't or they doesn't have any root stem leaves differentiated structure that structure is known as the thallus structure or thalloid vegetative body here and depending on their different thalloid structure they are differentiated into different groups or different categories so and these are the topics we will discuss in our next videos uh, the general characteristics which we already discussed in our previous videos and in this video we will discuss we are discussing about the thallus organization and in next videos we will discuss the other topics okay so so what are the thallus organization so depending on the thallus organization or thallus structure algae are differentiated into these five groups that are the unicellular algae colonial algae filamentous algae siphonaceous algae and parenchymatous algae okay so now first is the unicellular, unicellular algae so unicellular algae means they have a single cell and they are motile with flagella or non motile like they don't have any flagella so unicellular algae means they have a single cell and if they are motile then they have a flagella like chlamydomonas euglena they have a flagella by which they can move move from one place to another and non motile algae non motile unicellular algae like diatoms they don't have any flagella so here we can see that this is the euglena structure and this is the chlamydomonas who have a flagella for movement they have a flagella for movement but the diatoms they don't have they don't have any flagella so they are non motile algae okay so this is the unicellular algae and next is the colonial algae colonial algae they are motile or non motile algae may form a colony by aggregation of the products of cell division okay so they form this colonial algae form a colony of cells after cell division but they may be motile or may not be motile okay so different types of colonial algae are present first one is the coenobial the colony is formed with a defined shape size and arrangement that colony have a defined shape size and arrangement of cells 
example wall box so here we can see that they have a they have a definite shape size and arrangement okay next is palmiloid so this is the irregular arrangement of cells varying in number shape and size so it is the opposite of coenobial okay so example is chlamydomonas and tetraspora so here we can see that this is the tetrasporous colony this is the irregular and varying in number okay number and shape and size and next is dendroid dendroid colony so it looks like microscopic tree due to union of mucilaginous traits present at base of the of each cell example chrysodendron okay so here we can see that this is the cell and they has a mucilaginous traits by which the cells are connected with each other and form a colony okay so last part is the rhizopodial colony the cells are united through rhizopodia so here we can see that the cells all the colonial cells all the cells which are present in a colony they connected to each other by rhizopods okay so this is the colonial algae description next is filamentous algae so what are the filamentous algae so daughter cells remain attached after cell division and form a chain cell chain so after cell division the after cell here we can see that after cell division the daughter cells are attached with each other and form a chain so that type of cells are called the filamentous algae they make a filamentous like structure that's why they call the filamentous algae so the daughter cell remain attached after cell division and make a chain of cells okay and adjacent cells share same cell wall so this cell this daughter cell and this daughter cells share a same cell wall okay and they may be unbranched or branched the unbranched means they are uniseriate that means uh, they have only one line or one row the cells are present in one row or one line that is known as the unbranched filamentous algae like this that is the ulothrix ulothrix is a unbranched filamentous algae where only one line in one line all the cells are present no branching is present so that is a unbranched filamentous algae next is the branched filamentous algae so this branched filamentous algae further divided into two categories first one is the regular multiseriate and next one is a unregular multiseriate multiseriate means uh, more than one line in more than one line the cells are present that means the uh, that means uh, the cells all the cells which are present in filamentous form they are in different or more than one lines or more than one rows okay so here we can see that in more than one rows the cells are attached with each other each other to form a filamentous algae but the regular multiseriate this is the regular multiseriate they don't have any different type of branching okay but in unregular multiseriate here we can see that unregular multi multiseriate unbranched sorry branched filamentous algae that is the fristicilia and the branched regular multiseriate are the cladophora this one okay so this is the description of filamentous algae and next one is the siphonaceous algae so siphon siphon means a tube so according to their name this is a tube like structure and that's why they are known as siphonaceous algae okay so they are they have one large multinucleated cell without cross walls so this is the structure and the example is a valsaria valsaria okay valsaria is a example of siphonaceous algae they have a tube like structure and they don't have any cross walls between the cells okay and the next is a parenchymatous algae so parenchymatous means 
they have a parenchyma cell like structure okay and they have a thin walled unicellular uni sorry undifferentiated daughter cell and a leaf like structure they have a thin walled structure and they have undifferentiated daughter cells and their structure is leaf like like this okay so this occurs when cells of the primary filament divide in all directions when the primary filament divide in all directions then they form a parenchymatous parenchymatous leaf like structure and they mostly macroscopic algae with tissue of undifferentiated cells tissue of undifferentiated cells and grow originating from a meristem from a single meristem this is from this they generate and after cell division in a filament they grow in three dimension and that's why they form a leaf like structure okay and that's why they call the parenchymatous algae okay so these are all about the thallus organization that is uh, first one is the unicellular algae next is colonial algae next filamentous algae who make a filament filament like structure and the siphonaceous algae like the tube like structure and the parenchymatous algae they are uh, like they are also filamentous structure but they grow in three dimension all the directions they grow and are ultimately form a leaf like structure okay so these are all about the thallus organization of algae okay thank you for watching this video